I wasn't planning on doing another update before Christmas, but then Omicron came along. And many of you will be understandably wondering whether you ought to come to church or not. Well, all our Christmas services at St. Thomas's, St. John's and Kingfisher will be going ahead as planned. But here are a few common sense things that will help to keep us all safe. Please remember to reserve the back section of St. Thomas's for those who wish to be distanced or to be out of range of the live stream camera. If you're less worried about both of those things, please sit nearer the front where there's still a generous amount of space between rows and you can always leave an empty seat between households if you'd like to. Face coverings are now mandatory again in places of worship, and although there is a legal exemption for singing, we would prefer you to keep them on throughout the service, except when reading or singing from the front. Again, with regret, we've decided not to serve refreshments after any service, including the carol service for the time being. Two services will be live streamed over Christmas. The carol service this Sunday evening, 19th of December at 6.30 and the midnight communion at 11.30 on Christmas Eve. And those will be available on the St. Thomas's YouTube channel. The morning services at 10.30 this coming Sunday and on Christmas Day won't be live streamed. On Christmas Eve at 4.30 in the afternoon, we'll be singing carols outside St. Thomas's for about half an hour. So wrap up and come to that. And on Boxing Day, Sunday the 26th, there won't be a service here in church, but Janet and I will be hosting a Zoom meeting for anyone who'd like to get together online for a brief act of worship and a time of virtual coffee catch-up, lockdown style. And we'll send out the link for that next week. Finally, Janet and I would like to invite you to join us in the Vicarage Garden for some seasonal refreshment on either the morning or evening of next Wednesday, the 22nd of December. We'll have a rota of half-hour slots so small numbers can get together outside as we did last year. Watch out for an email explaining how you can sign up for one of those. So in spite of all the uncertainty, may this Christmas be a wonderful time of God's peace and joy for you all. God bless.